2025 was by far the biggest year for the framer community and my company, Insert Frame. So now as a tradition on this channel, I want to reflect on the year that has been, everything that has happened and give you a sneak peek at what's to come. Let's go. Now, firstly, what is Insert Frame? Well, it's my company where we're building the Frameverse, which is an ecosystem of products and education for Framer. You might have seen some of our plugins on the Framer Marketplace, from Frameship, which lets you build e-commerce websites in Framer, or even Framer Forms, which lets you build more powerful, customizable forms in Framer. Now, I started the company almost two and a half years ago, which is absolutely insane to think about. Now, what started as giving away a free Framer template on Twitter, or X has now grown into a company that employs over 10 people. It's been a massive year for the company. Not only have we grown in terms of team size, the amount of customers we've onboarded and new products that we've shipped and even new features has been absolutely insane. We even got our first office in Melbourne, Australia, which was super awesome to see and a bit of a dream achieved for me to actually have this creative space where we can build just epic stuff and framer. Now, let's actually start with the content that we've put out this year because we've done a lot. So firstly, we've actually released 34 new videos videos on this channel in 2025 and we're actually currently at around 14,000 subscribers which is absolutely insane and to add to the insanity we also have over 30,000 people on our mailing list which is people like you people who love using Framer and people who use our Framer products. Now this year in particular, we invested a ton into the whole content workflow that we're trying to create here. Now my goal with YouTube is to create two tutorials every single week. And at the start of 2026, you're going to see some immense improvements in terms of how we're actually going to be shipping this content. All right, I'm very excited, but I need to save all that hype for the end. Now let's look back at everything that we released this year, starting in February, where we actually held a bunch of meetups, uh, one in Sydney, as well as in Melbourne. It was great to actually connect with the Framer community and actually put some faces to the names. We also hosted our annual Front Row Online Conference, which is a conference built for web designers and sponsored by Framer. We had thousands of attendees and we did it over three days. And since we're here in Australia, which to be fair, is one of the worst places in the world for time zones, especially for the rest of the world, we essentially ran this event live from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m., three days in a row, as well as a bunch of extra activities in between. I was dead by the end of it and I don't drink coffee. So I tell you what, I was really looking forward to some sleep afterwards. But I think what kept me going was the actual energy and enthusiasm that came from you guys as we actually created that content. And the fact we were able to do it all for free for you guys was just absolutely incredible. And I couldn't be more stoked with the feedback that we got. Now, fast forward to May, we actually released the Superfields plugin, which is our plugin that supercharges the Framer CMS, adding things like dynamic filtering, pagination, real-time search, and so much more. Superfields was one of our best performing products, and it was super awesome to actually bring that into plugin format. Now, a big focus for us in 2025 was education. We essentially want to turn as many designers into developers as possible, as well as marketers and actually turning them into publishers. Now, the first step to actually build the best education for Framer, not just on the internet, but in the world, more on that later, is to actually redo our ultimate Framer Masterclass. Now, this is our flagship course, and in September, we launched the ultimate Framer Masterclass 3.0, a complete learning experience for Framer. We literally built an online school all in Framer, which was pretty cool. And we're essentially trying to build the Duolingo for Framer here. Not only did I want the content to be up to date and the most relevant place to learn Framer on the internet, but I want to make sure that the learning experience that we provided was second to none. So we actually built this entire custom platform. We introduced things like exercises, quizzes, and ways to actually get direct feedback on your work. We also introduced Masterclass Plus, where we host monthly office hours, live workshops, and even a private community. 
And since we were so focused on how do we actually create the best learning experience for Framer possible, we even built another plugin so you can learn Framer directly inside of Framer. Again, the response to the masterclass has been absolutely outstanding, and I cannot wait in 2026 to double down on the masterclass even more to create as much value as possible there. I truly believe that Framer is a massive unlock not only for designers, but marketers as well. And I can't wait to actually put all my energy into creating the best education in the world for Framer. Now, let's talk about November because it was by far the busiest month at Insert Frame. We shipped a ton of different stuff. Firstly, in November, we shipped NoteFrame, which was a project management plugin for Framer. Essentially, you can add comments to the canvas and organize them through a Kanban view. You can assign team members, you can add comments, you can add more detailed comments, assign priorities, and so much more. So finally, you can actually have collaboration in Framer that actually makes sense. And then additionally, in November, we launched our biggest update of the year, which was Frameship 2.0 which is basically an overhaul of our best-selling product, which is our e-commerce solution for Framer, powered by Shopify. Not only did we do a ton of quality of life updates, but we also introduced a ton of new features like advanced variants, markets, localization, and so much more. We even partnered with Contra to run a 5K Frameship hackathon, where you guys actually had the chance to win some serious money creating some e-commerce templates for Framer. Now that was just the tip of the iceberg. We shipped a lot more features and quality of life improvements to every product that we have. And we're in this constant flow of improvements and I can't wait to see what we actually get up to in 2026. Now, I don't wanna to spoil too much, but I do wanna give you a couple of teasers in terms of where we're going and what you can expect next year. Well, firstly, on the content, we hope to release two videos on this channel every single week, teaching you Framer and helping you to become a more valuable web designer. Then on our plugins, we have a ton of features on the roadmap, shipping some great updates to not only Frameship, but all of our other products as well. Fenty, our plugin that lets you add authentication to Framer, is having a massive overhaul and you're going to see some great updates there at the start of next year. Even some of our OG products like Framer Forms and Superfields have some great features in the works. And again, in quarter one of next year, you're going to be seeing a ton of updates. So really the focus for us is how do we go from good to great? We want to make sure that we have the best plugins on the marketplace that solve the biggest problems for Framer. But then the really big fish for us next year is education. Now we're still in the early phases of this, but early next year, I'm going to be announcing something huge, which is going to be bringing our Framer workshops to your cities. Now we're still in the early working phases of this, but next year, we're actually going to be kicking off a workshop world tour where we're going to be coming to your city and I'm going to be teaching you Framer. More information on that to come in the new year. Overall, this year has been massive. It's had a lot of highs and also a lot of lows, but I'm very excited for what's to come. And I'm just truly passionate about what we're doing here at Insert Frame and what Framer themselves are doing as a company. With the mass adoption of tools like AI and the battle between, say, Figma sites, Webflow, Framer, it's actually never been a more exciting time to be a designer. One thing is super clear as we move into an ever-evolving world is that designers will continue to rule the world. So I wish you a happy holidays, and I can't wait to connect with you even more in 2026. Until next time, I'll catch you later.